Now my lovely leg steaks of fallow here are being oiled and they're being put between two layers of cling film. There we go, just like this. There we are. Now they're sandwiched between cling film and that's because I'm gonna batter them flat, really hammer them, and I'm gonna use the bottom of a pan. Now this recipe is a perfect way to eat fallow on a summer's day. Light is right in this case. It's a schnitzel of battered out deer leg, just a haunch steak cut thin, breaded Parmesan green sauce schnitzel. Fantastic, it's gonna be crunchy, delicious, sharp green sauce. The perfect way to eat venison. Next stage, dead easy. Take some Dijon mustard, not very much. Dab it on there, then with clean hands, rub it in all over. They're smeared, simple process now. Gonna get some Parmesan on here. Turn them over. Very, very simple now. These get panade, and panade is just a chef term for bread crumbing. So pick them up, drop them in the egg wash, make sure that's it, nicely covered, and then into these Japanese panko bread crumbs. There we are. Make sure they're really well covered. Now to cook these schnitzels, I'm gonna fry them. It's old fashioned this, but they've gotta be fried. You can't oven bake them. They've gotta be crunchy and a bit oily. So I've got a pan here with extra virgin olive oil and a good knob of butter. One, and number two. Gonna let that cook. I've got two minutes to make my sauce. Let's do it. Okay, to start with, some cherry tomatoes. Now half a chili. Not very strong chili. So I'll just cut this. That'll add a little bit of zing to this salsa. There we go. Now then, red onion. Five or six horizontal cuts into the onion half. And now verticals, maybe eight or 10. And just shave off the front face like that. And I'm left with a lovely dice of red onion that'll add a lovely crunch to my salsa. Now my schnitzels look like they might be ready to turn. Oh, Mr. Schnitzel. Oh. Now this is induction. Induction super quick, so I've cooked these really, really fast. You'll probably find gas or electric aren't as quick or as controllable as this. My advice is if you're thinking about getting new kitchen gear, always put these in. They're safe, I can put my hand all around them, they don't radiate any excess heat, they use minimum amount of power for the job you need. And those schnitzels look amazing. Right, time to finish our green sauce. We're gonna use some basil, some parsley, and some watercress, and I'm gonna chop them all up together. So here we go. A good old herd of cows outside my, my kitchen window, getting very excited about something. There we are. Okay, now, just to finish things off, lots of good extra virgin olive oil in there. The juice of a lemon. Squeeze that in, a good tip. Always put the cut face into your hand of the lemon and then the pips don't go in. Like that. I'm gonna put the rest of this lovely Parmesan in here. There we go. And a pinch of salt. Now we'll give it a good old stir. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous salsa verde. Mm. Oh. Well, that's it. With the schnitzel well fried, crispy, golden and cooked through, the dish is ready to serve. Spoon the salsa verde mixture liberally over those beautiful venison schnitzels and we're good to go. All that's left now is to taste them. Mm. Man, you could be eating veal. Super tender, it's got a lovely mild flavour and that sharp salsa verde goes with the crunchiness of the breadcrumbs. All in all, that's a great lunch dish and you need to try it at home. And remember, 
you need to get a hold of some really good quality fallow deer, you can get it from me, www.harwoodgame.com, provide you with all your game needs next day delivered to your house. Provenance guaranteed. And if you've enjoyed this recipe, then watch other recipes and my other films on YouTube.